Most kids dream of one day moving out of their parents' home and into a place of their own. But when that child has a developmental disability, the question isn't about when, but if, if they'll be able to move out and support themselves. Yeah, for a group of young people in Mission, their dream has come, become a reality. Zhao Zhao Shen introduces us to the Mission Project in this week's Community Profile. Stop by the Panera Bread in Lenexa at 87th and Lackman, and you'll see the usual. People in line for coffee, sitting down with a paper, or working on their computer. But at this restaurant, you get a little something extra. Excuse me, can I clean your table here? Joy in the form of a smile from Ellen Dernberger. I've been working at Panera about almost a year. In addition to her job, Ellen has an apartment. I've been by myself for a long time. A packed social calendar. She completely decides on what she wants to do. And a life she calls her own. I drink a lot of um, some new things that I do um, in my life now, mm -hmm. and it's going good. Ellen's parents credit the Mission Project for her independence. We didn't dare to dream of something as good as the Mission Project when she was a baby. Bob Randall is the president of the board. It's not only our dreams for our children, it's the children's dreams for themselves, that they have you know, those same drives that children uh, without disabilities have, and so we want them to be able to fulfill that. Randall's own daughter, Kelly, is another Mission Project yeah. success. I think I have pretty much accomplished most of my goals. Ellen is on her way as well. I like to be part of the Mission Project family, and, and um, they're very special to me, and, and, um, and I'm very happy that I'm here. Because with a little help, they can exceed what your expectations are. And a lot of love, anything is possible. <laughs> Jaja Shen, NBC Action News.